Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you are right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends when they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Momo! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible. Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Momo, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful. Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>
Thank you for everything. Yay! 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 We didn't do anything. During a delivery, you don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> Today I feel like playing some sports. Sports? In such cold weather? Everything's frozen! Of course, Rita. You could deal with the cold by doing exercise. Anyway, we just have to dress for it and then we'll be fine. But, but, but where do you want to go? Since everything's frozen, we could go to the lake and do some ice skating. <sighs> Alright, but first let me get my coat because I'm freezing. Hi, Milo. We're going ice skating. Do you want to come with us? You're not going to believe this, but we just thought the same thing. I'll go and get my skates. Off I go! Olga sure knows how to dominate the art of ice skating. Wow, you do that so well. It's no big deal. I can skate really well, too. Check me out. See, Moo Moo? I can do it, too. I'm about to fall! That's a piece of cake. Now you'll see what I can do. Look, Rita, I'm pretty good too. But you're going backwards. I know that. I'm doing it on purpose. But you're going to fall that way. Be careful. So, Alfred, you want to try? To tell you the truth, this skating thing doesn't do much for me. When was the last time you went skating? Well, actually, I have never skated before. It scares me a little. Don't be afraid, Alfred. You just need to slide into it. It's really easy. You'll see how well you do it once you try. I'll have to try it. Very good, Alfred. Now you just have to move your feet a little. I don't understand it. I'm paralyzed. I can't move at all. Don't you worry. I'm just going to push you a little bit so you'll see how easy it is. Very good, Alfred. <laughs> That's not funny, Rita. Yes, it is funny. <laughs> Watch yourself! <laughs> You'd better quit laughing because going backwards like that, you'll end up falling on the ice too! Whoa! Can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to turn around? Sure. Slow it down and I'll help you. You see how easy? Now you can skate going forward. Things sure do look a lot better this way. Now what do I do? Uh... Whatever, Moo Moo. You skate backwards and that'll be fine. I've got it now! 
All I have to do is slide. It's actually easier than it looks. Good. Just go a little slower because you haven't learned how to break yet. To break? Nobody told me anything about breaking. How do you do that? I'm sorry, Rita. Everybody get out of my way because I don't know how to stop. Milo, help me stop him. He's going out of control. You get on one side and I'll get on the other. Help! Oh! oh. 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 Have you noticed that you're the only one who hasn't fallen? Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. 
Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Mm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. See you Goodbye. later. He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar! You can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar. Now he's Mr. Butterfly. Same difference. What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful. Yeah! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful. And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go. Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want. You can fly as freely as the wind. <laughs> 